What is up crafters? Today we are going to be taking a look at a new plugin called Protection Core, which adds protections or claims to your Minecraft server. So today I will be showing you how to set up and use this plugin and then I will give my thoughts on the end since it is a premium plugin. I was given a license for free for making this video, but all thoughts will be completely my own. All right, make sure to subscribe and let's get crafting. Okay, so the first thing that you'll need to do is actually install the plugin, but since learning how to install plugins is extremely boring, I'm going to have James the old chap explain how to. Hello, it is I, James the old chap. Today we're going to be installing Protection Core. So just head on over to Spigot MC and download that plugin by clicking on download now. <laughs> Then you'll want to head on over to your little server here, click on files, go into the plugins folder, and then you'll just want to go ahead and take that jar file and drag it in. Oh, ho, ho. Now you just have to go back to your console and start or restart your server. A few moments later. Well, thank you for that, James. So now that our server is back online, we can go ahead and type PL in console and see we now have protection core. Ignore the fact I have other plugins on here. And now let's just go ahead and join our server. All right, so once we are in the server, what we will want to do is go ahead and give ourselves the items that we need. So we can do that by typing protection core and we'll see PC give. And then you can give yourself all by doing all or you can choose whichever one you want. We're just going to go for all so I can show you everything. So right here we have the protection core itself we have the protection one module which will give us a 30 by 30 then this one will give us a 60 by 60 area and 120 by 120 and then 240 by 240 and then we have the mod module right here which will make mobs not spawn inside of your what are they called protection cores yeah and then our pvp module if you don't want players to be able to fight in your region and then there's also the creeper module so creepers don't explode and finally we have the info item which will give us information when we click on a block to see if like it's inside of a region or not okay so if we try to go ahead and just place our protection core down we see that it does not work because we need to build a redstone pyramid for it so let's go ahead and do that so to build our redstone pyramid we need to build a seven by seven base so one two three four five six seven and then do that again oh my gosh i can't build i i can't count either okay so that's that's four and then that's five i think or no that that's six okay there we go, there's seven. So now we need to build our next layer. Get out of here, tree. Nobody likes you, tree. <sighs> okay, let's keep building. Okay, there we go. So now we have our three block high tower. So we start with a seven by seven, then we go to a five by five, and then a three by three. And now we just go ahead and place our protection core on top of there and it'll shoot up to the sky and it'll tell God that we now need protection. I don't know <laughs> and now we can go ahead and interact with this so you see like these, these four different things right here and then we see our fuel right here I'll get into fuel in a second so what we need to do is give it a protection module so we'll just go with protection one so now we'll have a 30 by 30 area and now we need some fuel to basically have our protection work so by default, there are three different items that you can put in there, redstone blocks, coal, and coal blocks. So coal gives you the least amount of time. And then get out of here. Nobody likes you. And then we have coal blocks. And then we have redstone blocks. So if we just go ahead and put one coal in here, it lasts for 15 minutes. And then if we put one block of coal in, then it gives us an hour. If we take that out, then it's just for... So 45 minutes and then the block of redstone gives us about an hour i think <laughs> i really should not make tutorial videos i don't know i'm really bad at doing this this is really hard i i don't know why making a tutorial video is so hard but it, it really is that, that's why i think like like super nerds make tutorial videos because they they like that's the, that's why they're so nerdy and they can barely have a conversation with a real human this is hard this is really hard it has to be so perfect 
Why do I have to be so perfect all the time? Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, let's continue using this plugin. So then we also have our different modules that we can throw in here. So we got our mobs module. Mobs won't spawn anymore. That's only hostile mobs, I think. So I, I think that like your passive mobs like pigs and sheep should still spawn. And then we got our PVP module. So now nobody can PVP in here. And then we got our creeper module as well. I don't think that you can have multiple protections. Yeah, you can't. Okay. And then the info item. We can see that now it's in our own region. If we fly out a little bit, it's not in it. So we can't place it there because it's too close. Okay, now let's get a player on and then we can test if these claims actually work. <laughs> okay, all right, we're finally in. So now let's go over here to a little claim and let's just try to break some blocks. See, they don't work because the, the protection module's in there and then PVP won't work because the PVP module's on there. I do wish it like said a message like you can't PVP here. And also we can't interact with this because it's not mine. Okay, now let's go ahead and give the other player access to our claim. I'll show you how to do that quickly and also ignore my mod. My sister installed it. So what we can do is go into our protection core and then this little book right here, the whitelist. So you just want to click add a player and then we can call it their name. So dot M C Croy Y T. Obviously, if they're a Java player, you want to put the dot there and we can click that. And there we go. Now they have access to my claim and then we can even like change their permissions. So deny means that they can't do that and allow means they can. Simple Booleans. I love the word Boolean. It, it's so funny. It sounds like something a monkey would say. Boolean, Boolean, Boolean. So now let's see. Oh, we can break blocks now. Hallelujah. We can break blocks. Okay, so that's pretty much all you need to know about this plugin. Let's take a look at the configuration quickly and then I'll give my thoughts on the plugin. So once we are on our server panel, you can go to your file manager, click on the plugins folder, and then you should see a folder called protection core. So you can go into your config.yml. So it's just one configuration, which I like. You don't have to go into like multiple different files. So the first option is to require pyramids. So if you remember back to that redstone pyramid that we built, if you set this to false, then you won't need to build that. I kind of like it though. I think it's kind of cool. And then you can also change the different protection radiuses. You can change the different crafting recipes. So basically like if you had obsidian and then another star in the center. So that's going to give you the protection core and then the protection one module will be an iron block with obsidian. So we can see that these kind of increment in kind of the difficulty or the rarity of them. So we got netherite for protection four, which is the 120 by 120. And then the creeper module is a gunpowder surrounded by emeralds gunpowder because of creepers. Oh my gosh, that takes me back to my, like my old OG Minecraft days back playing with like Connor. And then we got the PVP module, which is a wooden sword surrounded by diamonds. Obviously you can change these if you wanted to not make it diamonds, you can make it dirt or whatever the heck you want. You know, it, it's your server, do what you want. And then here are all like the different messages and titles for all the different things. It, it uses a format called mini message, which I don't really like, but it works. And then we also have the different fuel items right here. So you can just add a different item and then the amount of seconds that it will last for. And then we got some placeholders right here. That's pretty much it. All right, so here's the part of the video where I'm real and genuine and I basically give my thoughts on whether you should buy the plugin or not. And since I did a video recently on a similar plugin called Base Raiders, we will be comparing both of them. So to start off, I really like how simple Protection Core is to use. I'm relatively stupid and I was able to understand it in about under 10 minutes. While Base Raiders does have a few more features than Protection Core does, it is just a little bit harder to understand. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that it is a bad plugin. I'm just just saying that you need to put yourself into the player's shoes and realize that they're not all server developers. They're probably just little kids. So all that really matters is if they understand how to make a claim or a protection or whatever the heck we're calling them these days. I also like how in Protection Core, all the different items are obtained through crafting, which gives players a really easy way to get all the different modules and stuff. Then they don't have to complain about your server being so pay to win because the only way to get these items is through opening crates. But if you are looking for some fun pay to win servers to play, you can check out both of mine. 
that's a joke. I They're not paid to win, or, or maybe they are. I don't know. Now, since Protection Core is fairly new, I did notice a few small issues while using it. For example, there aren't any particles at the border of a region or really any indication that you're in a region unless you try to break a block or if you have an info item. I think that base raiders did better on this and its messages do look a little bit cleaner out of the box. So whether you decide to buy Protection Core or not is completely up to you. It's only 5.99 euros, which translates to about $7 in the USA. So it's a fairly cheap plugin. And even if you decide that you don't like it, which I doubt you will, you're really not out much. I can definitely recommend this plugin over something like <sighs> grief prevention, yuck since it's way more unique than just the golden shovel and that annoying bit.ly link that pretty much every survival server these days has. But overall, this plugin is definitely worth it and it gets a thumbs up from me. But what do you think about this plugin? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below or if you have another plugin you would like me to make a video on and I will go ahead and add it to my list of videos that I'll probably never make. If you need help with Protection Core, then you can join the Protection Core Discord server or you can also hop into my Discord server and I can help you there. But until next time, I will see you on the other side and happy crafting. Could have been a piece is looking for a reason. Throw me a line and bring me back home. Won't you say something? Say something. I can't do this alone. Could have been a piece is throw me a line and bring me back home.